It was a stunning state Supreme Court decision. Back in 2021, police across Washington were told they could no longer arrest people for simple drug possession. Tonight, state lawmakers held a town hall to explore ways to hold drug users accountable. Graham 2's Kyle Simchuk shows us what they're considering. Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel was part of tonight's panel discussion. He said there needs to be some incentive for people to get clean and off of drugs. In the past, that's been the threat of felony charges or prison time. State lawmakers are trying to find a balance between holding people accountable and getting them the treatment they need. A decision by the Washington State Supreme Court in 2021, known as the Blake decision, changed Washington state laws dramatically. The case involved a woman from Spokane who was arrested after officers found a small amount of meth in the pocket of her jeans. The woman claimed the pants came from a friend and had no idea that there were drugs in the pocket. The case made it all the way to the state Supreme Court, which ruled in favor of the woman, calling Washington's law on simple drug possession unconstitutional, saying the law criminalizes unknowing drug possession. Before the Blake decision, simple drug possession was a felony punishable by up to five years in prison. After the decision, similar convictions were dropped, and officers could no longer arrest people for possessing small amounts of drugs. Because everybody <coughs> deserves to feel safe in their communities. And we're hearing that consistently right now. State lawmakers are gearing up for another legislative session and trying to balance how to hold drug users accountable while also helping them recover. For almost everyone who's uh, recovered or going through recovery, uh, relapse is part of that process. I do think at some level uh, there needs to be a, a heavier penalty uh, for the drug possession, uh, and depending on the type of drug, maybe the amount of drug, etc. So from my perspective, there has to be an enforcement piece. Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel says property crimes are up 25 percent compared to this time last year, and many criminals are stealing to support their drug habit. Those drugs are also killing people. There has been an astonishing 285 percent increase in overdose fatalities within the boundaries of Spokane County. Spokane County has offered a drug court since the mid-90s, giving people the opportunity to enter treatment while avoiding a felony on their record. But with the Blake decision, Meidel says there's no longer a carrot at the end of the stick. The state legislature returns this January. Tonight's town hall is one of many discussions lawmakers are having. In the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.